Halo Infinite sees its population triple overnight. Though the winter update has been considered a success, there have been many issues that have come along with it that have actually removed content and oddly added some in that no one was asking for. Forge has been going through its growing pains as well, but to finish off the video guys, we do have the leaked content for the Joint Fire and Winter Contingency Passes. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Now I know waiting around for Halo Infinite to get into a good spot can be a pain for a lot of us, but you know what is a worse pain for you to experience? Pain from improper posture. And that's what FlexiSpot, the sponsor of this video, wants to help provide relief from. FlexiSpot recently sent me the Pro Plus Standing Desk E7. And let me tell you guys, this desk is a total game changer. And good news is that FlexiSpot is kind enough to offer a special deal just for you guys. If you use code PBFE7, you can buy the exact same style desk I have in this video. Just use that code by following the link in the pinned comment and in the description down below to get your Black Friday deals. And if you want to buy other ergonomic products, don't miss out on FlexiSpot's Black Friday. It's up to 50% off site-wide. And if you're one of the first 10 people to complete a checkout within a certain time on the 25th, and on the 28th, you can get your entire order for free. The funny thing is I actually owned a FlexiSpot desk before this sponsorship and now that old desk is now my dining room table. So if you're in the market for a sit-stand desk, I highly suggest FlexiSpot. My affiliate link is in the description and the pinned comment down below. Help support the channel and thank you very much for FlexiSpot for supporting this video. But now let's get right back into those details. Now I'm sure many of you have been familiarized with the Steam charts past week. We've seen plenty of times of people posting some sad boy tweets about how the population started super high and then made its way down. And we've been really leveled out pretty much since June when it comes to the population of Halo Infinite. But look at this. We zoom in right here in the last few days or so, we see the population get a huge spike with the winter update. Of course, these are Steam numbers alone. This isn't the entire population of Halo. This is only a small fraction, to be honest. But we see right here the day before the launch of the winter update, 4,000 peak concurrent players. Not that great. We would like to see that number a bit higher. With the launch of the winter contingency event, we're almost at 13,000 concurrent players on Steam alone. So more than triples overnight in population for this winter update, which is fantastic for Halo Infinite. We also see this concurrently along with the most played games on Xbox. We see Halo Infinite really kind of breaching its way up to almost get into the top 10 status on Xbox, which is a fantastic spot to be. I know we all want to see it up here with like the big hitters like Call of Duty, Fortnite, you know, Apex, Grand Theft Auto 5. We're just not there right now at the moment, but we maybe could get there. As we see right now, Halo Infinite is just below Rainbow Six Siege and Destiny 2 and Madden when it comes to the amount of people playing the game. It's finally past Forza Horizon 5, which has been up there for quite some time. I mean, normally we've been seeing Halo Infinite kind of hanging around like this, like number around, like around 15, 30, 2015 to 20 range or something like that. But now we're like, pushing top 10. So currently seeing number 13 on Xbox most played games isn't anything to go like, oh my God, we're back. But it's definitely something to take in consideration. Like we're actually not doing too shabby for ourselves, especially given the state of Halo Infinite and not being in the best, you know, states, when, especially when it comes to like the servers and especially like the content we've been talking about. But what this really does is the with the launch of Forge, it just gives people new things to do in Halo Infinite, which has been the biggest struggle with Halo Infinite since the launch of the game is that people have the ability to log into Halo Infinite, check out the content browser and see what's new and cool in Halo Infinite. Get some people together and play and have fun, which actually guys, if you want to, I do have a Discord channel, which I do utilize quite often on my streams. Link in the description down below. If you guys wanna play some custom games with the community that we've built up here on the channel, well, make sure you give a follow on Discord, guys. We'll be using it quite often. Tuesday and Thursday nights are when I stream, and that's one of the best times to catch me live, guys. We get, get some party games going. I think it'll be a really fun time. But not everything has been sunshine and roses when it comes to the winter update. There have been some new issues, as in a new weapon jamming issue that we're having in Halo Infinite. Pro player Spartan points this out on Twitter. Before the update, I would be able to just kind of spam my trigger and the plasma pistol would shoot its fastest. But now when I do it, this is what happens. I'm, as you can see, like, if you look at the trigger icon and then look at my plasma pistol, like, it's not shooting at the correct speed. And it doesn't matter what my trigger dead zones are, I change them around a thousand times, it does not fix the issue. Um, before the update, this was not a problem, so I don't know what the issue is, 
but it's actually very annoying. Um, and as soon as I can get a clip of the BR jamming to you, I will. Personally, I haven't really experienced any jamming when it comes to weapons, but I definitely, you can see right there in that clip that that plasma pistol was not working as intended. And community manager Unicheck did reply to him saying thanks for sharing the video, we'll share it with the team, but we haven't really heard anything about this update or change Ever, ever since this tweet, which is back on November 9th. So it's been a few days and we haven't really heard much of an update about it since. Uh, of course, once we do get some more information, you know I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. Now there have been some interesting changes 343 has made, especially with the playlist here, you guys. If you check this out, if you look at the big team battle playlist, if you look at the game list right here, they have Skockets Slayer. That's Rockets and Skewer only playlist, which is very odd to mix in with like your regular core game modes, to mix in with like this big team battle social mode that we had, which was fun in that playlist, but to mix it in with everything else, it'd probably be a game that I just want to quit out of because that's not what I'm looking forward to when playing BTB. Another major change was actually with the ranked arena as well with the game list. We won, we, they removed a uh, bizarre CTF with this update. So not all you have is Aquarius and Catalyst. Slayer Catalyst was removed, which I think is a great idea right there, right 343. But then they completely took out King of the Hill, which I thought was a fun mode. And they stated the reason why they removed it is because it's been having some issues with the game, but some issues like the hill not rotating properly. Uh, the 343 did state that they are looking to implement it back into ranked uh, once a fix is in the works, but no timetable has been given to us yet when they will see King of the Hill return into Halo Infinite. When we do, you know I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Also about these playlists, there's one mode in particular that's just not there, which we had at launch until, well, the winter update, and that is Bot Bootcamp. Personally, I liked Bot Bootcamp. It was a great way to kind of warm up and just kind of chill, hang out, and just kind of shoot some bots to kind of get your thumbs warmed up before you jump into playing ranked or something like that. And also a great way to acclimate new players to the game to the mechanics of Halo Infinite. It was fantastic. I can't believe they removed it, but 343's community director of Sketch recently hit up Twitter to explain why. Saying that the Bot Bootcamp playlist will be returning, they just want to take some time to tweak it a little bit and see if there's any more potential changes they can make to the mode to make it a little, bit a little more exciting because yeah, we do know that bot boot camp was a lesser played mode within halo infinite but the thing is, is that like you only need four players and i don't really think skill really needs to be taken into consideration for like skill based matchmaking for this i think it's been one of those modes that you can probably just have up there at all times but maybe they're trying to take it out to see if they can add in like objective modes or something like that with bot boot camp i think that would be a great addition but we have seen videos of the bots kind of struggling with how they handle objectives i mean they can do them but they do it in a very odd unhuman like characteristics with comes to uh, obtaining objectives and things like that so we'll kind of have to wait and see what happens with bot boot camp of course i'll let you guys know on the channel once we get some more information about it but it will be returning the halo infinite the very important thing to take note of uh, but one thing is also that uh, we have less content of is the new maps within halo infinite guys if we're actually Argyle, one of the new maps that was going to be put into ranked as well, well that's not in the game anymore due to uh, crashes that the map was causing, which is surprising to see that like they're having this many issues with this map we are at launch, especially being a forge map as well, you think it'd be a little bit less crashy, if that's even a word really. And from what I've heard from the community that most people weren't really having any issues with Argyle, though I'm not quite sure if this is an Xbox issue, issue or a PC issue, they're still trying to sort out the issue of what's causing this to happen. Uh, we have no timetable as well when we will see Argyle come back into the rotation of Halo Infinite. Maybe my hopes would be sometime in December when we will get the Pit remake coming into Halo Infinite, which I will cover on the channel exactly when we will get that map put in. But I could see them trying to like tag it in with that update to, so then it just, you know, m m knock out two birds, one stone kind of thing. Now you might have been seeing this going around the internets a little bit here, guys, and that is the fact that it seems like Infection and Assault were there day one in the custom content browser for you guys to download a version of Infection or Assault, which we're like, wait a minute. This isn't gonna be coming around for at least another season or math not two. Uh, that's kind of interesting to see that. And Community Manager Unishek did reply to this saying it looks like you all got an early look to a few game mode prototypes 
and it's saying there is still plenty of work to be done with this right now and they will release it but it need more information and once we get that information we'll share it with you guys uh, here now i did look here in halo infinite guys to see if we can see find some infection modes right here but it looks like they have been taken down right now and right at the moment all infection game modes that you can find in halo infinite are all fan made things right now which i'm sure people have been able to script it in a way to make it work essentially like your normal infection or assault modes uh, well, we're still kind of just waiting for that to happen. Recent leaks from Sarasia, who's a very well-known, credible leaker, kind of digs into the API and puts out content right here for us guys, saying that infection most likely coming within season four right here. So not have to wait too long. Hopefully June 28th, we get a release of infection within the game, which I would be quite happy about that. Now this post on Reddit might be one of the saddest things I've ever felt as a Halo player and a former Forger really during Halo 3 days and that was that this player right here saying important note you'll be kicked from Forge for inactivity please be aware I just lost my entire map which feeling that I'm like oh my god dude that is some straight up pain right there Spain without the S that's definitely what that is and 343 has definitely addressed this as Forge is always online, which is kind of an interesting choice. I'm assuming this is probably so then they can keep track on their servers for those auto save features and have it be able to have uh, ability to revert back to previous saves on there. Well, 343 did address this issue from community feedback. That's probably why we're still in beta with Forge, but recently tweeted this out saying that the idle boot timer in Halo Infinite has been extended to 12 hours, which is nice to see. I think that's a fair balance right there. And the reason why they even have this in the first place, since it is on dedicated servers, if you're having a game open, you'll be taking up server space that, you know, there's only so much bandwidth that 343 has uh, to be available for Halo. And so if you're going to be hogging up all these servers, you know, they can take out, you know, you down or if you're inactive and save that for maybe a different custom game server or a different Forge server or something like that. But uh, I'm glad to see that this change has been made. And also the lead of 343's Forge mode, Michael Score, if I pronounce that correctly or sure, whichever one you pronounce it, did hit up Twitter to recently talk about, you know, different things to keep in mind when you are forging to make sure that this doesn't happen to anybody else. Uh, they said say that there is a quick save option that does happen within the tools of Halo Infinite that it does work and it's supposed to work, but occasionally it, it doesn't work for whatever reason. This is probably why we're still in beta right now. He also says that if a session crashes, the player gets disconnected, including due, due to inactivity, or the session is closed abnormally, we create an autosave. There is a bug where this autosave doesn't always work. We are, are working to fix this right now. Again, probably talking about why we're currently in beta right now. Even though it pretty much feels like the full release of Forge for the most part, I think he said that you know, 343 did say that they have a few things that they want to work on that's more like fine-tuning of the feature, but it's good enough right now to just release out to the public. As we know by the infamous roadmap right here, that Forge is looking to stay in beta for most of 2023 as well, as we have with the Season 3 update coming in March through June, late June, that Forge beta updates will be coming in with this as well. Uh, so I wouldn't expect to see Forge to get out of beta, maybe not even during 2023, to be honest. It might be a late 2023 or an early 2024 thing. At the earliest, I would see Forge get out of the beta phase. That's kind of the nature of the live service experience is that like you just kind of release the product out there when it's like a minimum viable product, really. And that's kind of what Forge is, but it doesn't really feel like that because there's so many new features with it. I wouldn't really call it that, but... It's like I said, they wanted to do some more fine tuning with Forge so that it would be a much smoother experience, but it's good enough as is where like some people will have issues. And that's why they're calling it a beta right now. Uh, when will it be out of beta? We don't really know for the most part right now. But of course, once we get that information, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. And while we're on the topic of some leaked out content, we have the information of the passes that are coming with the Joint Fire and Winter Contingency events, which I am very excited about because I do enjoy my free content. Again, from Sir Asia, our favorite leaky boy here on the channel, showcasing the Joint Fire Pass right here. As you see, this is where JFO will be unlocked, one of my favorite helmets ever in Halo. And this was confirmed by 343 that that's where you'll find JFO. So this is going to be where you begin the content. If you guys want to get a good look at it, just pause the screen right there. But we also have the Winter Contingency showcased right here, which I am 
very excited about because I do like these bits of customization as we do see the snowbound coating for the battle rifle hydra and sidekick I do love this candy cane visor as well as the nightcap hat right here for you guys to check out the holiday cheer grenades which I'm like okay move over pineapples let's get some holiday cheer in here doing a little more research online I found the leaked version of the snowbound battle rifle which you can see looks very clean we see like a ammo counter looks a little blue right there with a blue kind of snowflake kind of effect right there with the white on top of it to me this looks way better than we have for the previous winter contingency event though i did like the previous one just because it was like the red wine green you know holiday color kind of stuff that it doesn't really look that great but that's kind of also the appeal of it if that kind of makes sense uh, so that's some really cool stuff that we see, but we also get the chance to see more of what's going to be coming in for the winter contingency, most likely being tied in with the store already in Halo Infinite. One item being the cold shoulder, as you can see right here, kind of, it's like these holographic spiky ice shoulders that are coming out of your Spartan, which is pretty fun, like not gonna lie, that's pretty cool stuff, some pretty cool stuff right there, as well as some like iced horns, so they call them the ski racks, which this is just like a great addition, move over cat ears, move over bunny ears, we got some like elk ears, I guess you want to call them elk uh, antlers, reindeer antlers if you will even. We also have the Verglass Dream, which is kind of like the snowy kind of like what uh, armor effect that you can have on your character right here. All of it does look very awesome, not gonna lie, I do like this a lot. But this most likely will be part of the store and not something you can actually earn in game, which is big sad for sure, especially since the new winter, winter update. Uh, Battle Pass does not have any uh, you know, tokens for you or any credits for you to earn in the game, which is a big Z, but it is a free pass, so I guess that kind of makes sense. We also have the Rain Supreme, like reindeer antlers with a funny nose right there for your most likely part of the store as well for the Winter Contingency event. But interesting thing, we also have the Santa hat right here. You know, I jumped again a little bit, but you can see what the Santa hat kind of thing looks like, the silent nightcap. But the interesting thing here, another thing is the needle minder right here which i guess if anyone played halo reach you know exactly what this is referencing but the interesting thing is on cat's helmet within halo reach here guys, or the halo reach armor set here does not have that as an attachment which i was very shocked you can see right here i scroll through all the different items of cat's helmet and you can't put the needler shot through cat's helmet but you can do it on the mark 7 which i'm like bro come on like if there was any kind of helmet in Halo Infinite to put the needler through, it would be for Cat's helmet, but it's not there. So I'm just like, wait, well, how'd you miss that amazing opportunity there? Now, if you missed the previous opportunity to catch the 15 hidden changes with the winter update a video I made on this channel, check out that video right here, guys. If you want to keep up to date with everything going on with Halo, thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.